take somebody in management, please. I got a problem. Yes, this is the shift manager on duty. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. What's your name? Renisha. Miss Renisha? Mm-hmm. Listen, I got a situation. I, just, I brought my family down there to eat at y'all's place. Uh-huh. And, well, it's dark and the lighting isn't real good down there. We come out there after eating. We got a sack of big bag of burritos and all. But uh, we went to get out of the truck and my wife, Sharon Jean, tripped over a varmint. Y'all got some kind of dead animal out there in the parking lot. Oh, which side, sir? It, it's a side over there by uh, Applebee's, kind of okay. on that side. Of, it it looked like it'd been there for days. And she tripped over that and, and I think she sprung her knee. I, she, I had to take her to the emergency room and uh, I need to see what y'all gonna do about it. Well, give me a call back up here in about 30 minutes. Call back. No, I'm not calling back now because I'm having to run back up there and check on my wife. She's at the emergency room. I had to come home and check on my boy. He's on the ventilator down here at the house. And I had to come check on him. He's sickly. And now I'm running back up there. I need, I'm need. i going to need somebody to meet me up there and pay for this because I ain't got the money to pay for this hospital that's, bill. That's why I'm trying to call the owner of the store now. Where? I'm going to have to call him and let him know. It you can... call... There ain't nobody there can just cut me a check. No, the, hell, the thing's been out there. Obviously, she was in her best flip flops. She tripped right over it. And I think her knee, they say that her lugments are sprung in her knee. Sir, can I give you a number to call? Really? I'm going to be all over the place. I got that. You could call out to the emergency room, I guess. Yes. Um, Y'all going to send somebody out there? Yes, I'll get somebody. Can I just come by there and get some money? We have to discuss that with the boss. Well, but uh, I I can't be I can't drive at night because I can't see very well, and I'm getting somebody to run me up to the emergency room now, and I need to get somebody to meet me out there. Uh, maybe you could get them to come on out to the Spalding region. Sorry, you give me your name. I write it down. I yeah, I have a feeling I'm getting to run around. No, uh, sir. Well, did you see that vomit laid out there? That you seen that big animal laid out there dead, hadn't you? No, I have to go look. You go out there, look out there. You see what I'm talking about? It's hip high, that short sheep. Kiki, go out there and look in your lot. On the side by Applebee's. You see it, Kiki? It's a dead apple. It's laid out there, dead in hell. And she's in pain. She's, I mean, she's. I believe you, sir. Yeah, I, I know you're trying to help me so much you can do, but I have a feeling that this is going to be one of them situations where no. the poor man gets a run around. No, um, yeah, it's just a customer's end. It's a serious problem. Did she see it? Yeah. yeah, she already seen it. She seen that? What is it? A coyote? I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to take care of this problem. Yeah, well, so, I'm gonna, are you going to be there for a while? Yes, I'm going to be here. I'm going to come. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, well, if I, if I get somebody to run me up there, are you gonna be there the next 45 minutes? I maybe on the way. I can go on the way to check out Sharon Jean. I don't know. She she's allergic to most pain medicine. I don't know if she's gonna be hitting the bottle again or not. She, that's what I'm afraid of. Cause she was an alcoholic, and now she's all stove up down there. Can't take no pain medicine. <sighs> Lord help me, Jesus. Well, uh, and your name was what now? Renisha. Renisha, okay. And, and Miss Kiki, if you were not there, is Miss Kiki going to be there? Yeah, Miss Kiki going to be here. What's your name, uh, Gabe. Well, I can understand. Gabe. Gabe. I like the uh, trumpet blower, Gabriel. Spanish. Gabe. G-A-B-E. Foster. Foster? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so. And that'll be up. I'll be up there, and there's going to be some quarantine going on, but I'm telling you, I'm getting mad, and uh, I don't want to take it out on you, but, you know, you're the one in charge and, and all that, so you got to kind of take all the brunt of it, I guess. But what's the store owner's name? His name is Nadir Abdul. Nadir what? Abdul. Abdul. Abdullah. You, by God, you don't think it's one of them 9 fellas going out there sabotage your parking lot, do you? No. Nah. <laughs> well, it's him. He's come over here and got a free loan, and now he's crippling up his clientele. It ain't funny. I tell you, I'm, I'm coming down there to see you, and I And I'm going to have something to say to him or something other than Indian. Yeah, Arabic or whatever. All right, then, tell him to be at the store with a checkbook and warm up his right hand, because I'm going to have to get a check for this. this is, I'm getting a little upset. Okay. Yeah.
I'll see you down there, Bernice. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Well.